If you ever heard test-driven development, then you must have heard unit tests. Unit tests is very important for software development. It's used to test the correctness of a module, a function, or class. With a unit test, we can ensure the behavior of a program module behaves what we expect it. So why do we need Python unit test? In addition to ensuring that the behavior of a program meets the developer's expectation. The Python unit test can also ensure that the function of a refactored function will not cause new problem. In the process of software development, it's very common to refactor part of code. If you have good unit test, you can prevent problems caused by many function refactorings. In this video, I will show you some examples of Python unit test by using PyCharm. PyCharm contains some easy shortcuts to help developers save some time on coding. Also, they have shortcuts for writing tests. Now we already have a Python project here. The purpose of the Python project is to ask user to enter a file name of a web file. We also have a function called file name detector. If the user didn't enter a proper file name as a web file, the file name detector will automatically determine if this file name is proper. If it's not, the detector will fix the file name and output the proper file name. Let's run the project. And now we are going to enter the example file name, abc.wave. And you can see the output is still abc.wave. But what if we enter abc without dot .wave? You can see the file name detector fix the abc.wave for us. And now, what if we don't even put any input? Let's press enter here. And you can see the file name detector automatically generate a file name called default.wave for us. So all we need to do now is to write a test for this file name detector to see if it's working as we expected. To generate a new test, simply just right click your function and press generate a test. And Python will help you to generate a empty test for you so you don't have to write all these things by yourself. And all you need to do is modify what's inside here. So now we have finished writing the test code. One thing I would like to remind is that don't forget to import the package that contains your functions. In my case, the package is named file processor. So we will test focus in this unit test. Inputs I will use here are empty input, input without the name but with dot wave, input without dot wave, and input what we are expected. Other equal will be the best choice in this situation. We want to know if our output satisfied our expectations. In this case, a short string. So in PyCharm, test one unit of Python code is also easy. You can find here, there's a small play button with the same line of your test function name. Press it, you will see run Python test or debug Python test. In our case, I'll choose run. And here you can see run one test in 0.005 second and OK. Also, you can use terminal to do pytest and the name of your test code. In my case, test underscore file processor.py. And you can see I have already passed the test within 0.03 seconds. Note that even if you put four situations for testing, in the terminal, you can only see one pass here. This is because all four tests are included in this one specific test for one function. 
And don't forget to name your test function start with test and underscore in the name of your function you want to test.